Hello everyone. Welcome back to day 6 of Beginner's Guide to mQuery. Simple start with basic. I'm Dave K. Lerner and the motto is a bit forward daily. Today is an exciting step. We are going to merge queries and begin building our data model. This is where your Power BI journey begins truly meaningful. So before I take you there, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe or like the video and share it with someone whom we can help. So till now, what we have done is we have covered the one to seven topics, which is related to what is Power Query, why use Power Query, what is O data, how is data represented in O data, connect to O data feeds. And we, we also talked about clean and transform O data in Power BI. Today, what we are going to talk about is merging queries in Power BI. So, the first thing that comes to our mind is why merge queries? Let's say you have orders table and customer table, and you want to analyze customer wise sales. That information is split across two different data sets. We need to bring them together. That's where merging comes in. So that is where we'll be talking about merging and we will see the left outer join. I'll just first take you th through the step and then I'll show you um, the slide and tell you the steps that we have covered to just revise it. So um, let's go to the Power BI and open up what we have saved till yesterday so we have what we have done is we have connected to orata feed um, north wind and we have taken down three different data sets customers order details and orders table if you are joining today's video please go through the yesterday's video and you would be able to see how you can connect with orata feed so here um, i'll just open up the orders table and show you in the tables view. So at the moment, the order tables have the customer ID, customer name, contact name, contact field, address, city, postal code, country, phone, fax. If you talk about the order, order has order ID, customer ID, employee ID, order date, required date, ship date, ship fare, freight, ship name, ship address, ship city, ship, ship region, ship postal code, and ship country so at the moment we don't have the name of the customer or the um yeah if we go to the customer we don't have the customer id or the customer country right so what are we going to do is we are going to get the two columns which is sorry customer name and the or the contact name, uh, sorry, customer name and the customer uh, country and the city into the table of orders. So to do that, what we are going to do is we'll do a right click on the orders table and go to edit query. And in the edit query, what are we going to do is we are going to merge. So first thing is we'll select the orders table and I, I'll go into the home tab and in the home tab, I have merge queries here. There are two options, one is merge query where i'll be showing the output in the same data set that we are working on or the second one is merge query as new where it will be creating a different data set for doing that but let's do it in the same so i'll click on merge queries the moment i merge query uh, click on merge query it will open up this dialog box in this dialog box we have selected order uh, we have selected the customer id and we want to connect with the customer table. So in the customer table and the orders table, the link is between the customer ID. Once we do that, we are saying left outer all from list and matching from the second. That's the kind of the relationship that, that we want to create between them. When we talk about the left outer join, it means that everything from the orders would be connected to the customers. So if there is if there is an extra value in the orders table, it will still remain. So I can just click on OK. The moment I click on OK, you will see that there is a customer um, column being added, which is of type table. So I can click on this expand button 
and from here i can select the fields that are required the first thing is that everything is selected i will deselect all of them by clicking on select all if i uncheck it everything will get unchecked here i want the customer name and i require the country of the customer these are the two fields that are required and i'll click on okay you see that the name of them is having the name of the date original data set but i want to rename them so to rename them i can do a double click here and from here i can remove the customer name and similarly here also i'll remove the country here um, if i see there are null values i could have taken care of it in the query what i can still do is i can take care of it here as well i'll go to the customer name go to the drop down list uh, of the customer name and uncheck null so it will remove all the null values that is all the orders which doesn't have any customer detail so i will click on okay if i would have done the inner join that would have done the same thing as well so once i have done all the changes that i require i can click on apply and close after coming back in the table view you will see that the order table has two more columns to it i'll just wait for it to refresh and you can see that we have the customer name and the country table what i still see there is that my customer name is having a space in its name right so what i can do is i can either rename it from here if there is no space or what i can do is i can still do uh, and go to edit query and then check in the name in the orders table if there is any space there no i think there is no space it's just the visual the way that i see it and this is how we have done this so let's quickly go back to these slides and i'll show you what we have done till now so what we have done is we have we had opened the power query we can go to the home and transform data in the power query we went to home or transform data we selected the order and then we clicked on query uh, merge queries and choose customer we selected the customer id on basis of which both of them would be joined we said that the join type should be outer join and then we expanded the fields and we selected only the desired fields which was customer name and the country and then we renamed the columns and we cleaned up so that we have only the filtered value there so the key concept that you learned here was merging queries help you helps you or your uh helps enrich your data set for combining fields from related tables enabling deeper insight the second thing that i wanted to show you is the data modeling what you will notice here is that power bi has automatically created some relationship for you we'll check that so what i'm going to do is um, i'll take you back to the power bi that is what we were working on go back to the report view then i can go into the modeling i can click on relationship i can see the relationship in the manage relationship table i can click on edit and i can edit those relationship or the other way is what i can do is i can be in the home and in the home uh, sorry just give me a minute uh, you can be on here and in this what you can do is you can go into the model view and in the model view you can see the relationship it will give you the three information in the pictorial representation it is telling you that there is one order one order has x number of order details so it can have many order details so it is one to many relationship similarly one customer can have various orders so it is one to many relationship to the customer you can see this arrow as well which is telling you that where the relationship is going i'll do a double click on it to show you these are the settings that we have we have written on many to one going from customer to order and single because cross filter is from customer 
to orders when we select customer it will be orders be selected and we have made this relationship active so there can be only one active relationship between the two um, data sets or tables right if um, and if you want to create more relationship those who have to be inactive so having done this uh, i also see a relationship between the order and the order details i can do a double click on that and it will show you if i uncheck this box which make this relationship active and click on okay you will see this will change into a dotted line this is how it will tell you that it is not a active relationship i'll make them active and click on okay now here what you can do is you can now easily build reports combining fields from both table like showing total orders by the country and this is how we slowly build a dimensional model often called as star schema the foundation of clean scalable power bi dashboard that is what i wanted to show you uh, in day 7 we will begin right writing our first dax measure things like total orders average values and more this will help your uh, help turn your raw data into an real insight so yeah that's what we have done here so don't forget to register yourself for the sunday's uh, q and a sessions you can drop in your questions in the link which has been shared in uh, the description and for power bi webinar which is to be held on 15th of june uh please sub uh, subscribe for that i've given you the link there as well so once again thank you thank you for watching like share and subscribe to divk learner for more beginners friendly tutorials keep learning and i'll see you in the next one bye